and be their voice. And as soon as you get your behind up here, you get corrupted with this money, this power, and this ego, and you have thrown away your faith, and you have thrown away your ability to speak for the people. Guess what? Night storm is coming. And all those folks are doing all this garbage. I am six foot two, 280 pounds, and I ain't scared to tell the truth to nobody. If I piss off Democrats, good. If I piss off Republicans, good. If I piss off the establishment, oh, hell yeah. That's why I'm going. Well, I will say this, um, because last year in August, I had a couple of meetings with Secretary of State Raffensperger, and I had I was telling him, I said, we got hundreds of people in Forsyth County right now that do not like what's going on. You need to get a, a handle on this, and this is back in August of 2020. And the only thing he said was, we have it under control. And obviously, you didn't have it under control. And I hate to do stuff like this, but accountability matters. And if we are going to be confident in our votes, if we're going to be confident on moving forward, we have got to do this right. So I'm going to sign this because I believe in it. And we need to make sure we protect our elections because without election and voter integrity, we have nothing. And if I'm going to be running for a political office, I want to make sure I have the best chance to make sure so the people, I can depend on the people voting for me and not some machines or anybody else that want to sit here and switch stuff. So we need to make sure we have these checks and balances in place and we need to have people in charge who are willing to stand firm for what's right and protect the voters of Georgia. So you better believe I'm signing this right now. And the date today, 9-13-21, done. We need voter security. We need to make sure we have audits. We need to make sure we have a complete investigation of what has happened. So I don't see why anybody would be afraid of that. If you did nothing wrong, then allow the investigations to move forward. Am I right, sir? Absolutely. And then you, uh, the other issue, YG, is yes, the sir. whole thing about the system that he purchased is illegal, according to the United States District Court. Uh, and it's unverifiable to the voter. We warned him about that ahead of time. That alone would be enough to warrant a recall, but you have all the other issues of him allowing drop boxes to come in and not be properly monitored. There are so many things that you could just pick one. Right. But we would be here for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think you've already summed it up pretty well, Roger. All right. Well, well, what happened was wrong, but I will tell you this. Georgia, things are changing. The right people are getting in the leadership, and voters, we need you not to sit at home because you're frustrated, but get acclimated, get energized, connect with candidates that are willing to speak for you and stand for you, who are not afraid of standing for our truth and our liberties and our rights to have a safe election. So God bless you and everybody you hold dear, and let's go Georgia, let's go get it right now, let's do it right now.